Dreams do come true. So kids, what's your dream? So bright, colorful, and new. Sometimes it feels hard, but you don't wanna give up. Hello. Hello. Hi. You can see my dream. Of course, because I too had a dream. Some days I dreamt of becoming a tennis player and some days a cricketer. To make their dreams real tomorrow, you need financial planning today. Choose from a range of child plans from Aegis Federal Life Insurance and help your child dream big. Shubman Gill, are you impressed with Gill? Your thoughts oh, on Gill? I mean, how on earth did they not pick him in the first two test matches of that Border Gavaskar trophy? I mean, that was just like, I still struggle to believe it. I mean, he's an amazing player. He's a once in a generation player. I love watching him. And the fact that he has so successfully assimilated T20 when he has such, when his technique is so evolved for long term batting just shows, I mean, he's a, he's a, he is the incarnation of 21st century batsmanship. Uh, and the Australians the Australians managed to get the better of him in the, in the third test, but in the fourth test, he batted them out of sight. So, you know, he's coming off hot form in every genre of the uh, of, of the game. Um, you know, he would, he would be a player who Australia would still be struggling to, uh, to, to work out, you know, where to, where best to bowl the Shulman Gill. That's a question we're going to be asking probably for the next 10 years. You know, there, there is a there is talk already in the Indian press that it's Gavaskar to Tendulkar, Tendulkar to Kohli, Kohli to Gill. Are we premature in saying it or we have reason to say it? Look, I love the way in which Indians kind of work out lineages like that. I, I, like, I like any sort of uh, any appreciation of cricket that kind of leads you back into the past and 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 guides you towards the future. Um, that's that to me is symptomatic of just India's great cricket literacy uh, and their enormous enthusiasm for the game. I mean, the one problem for Gill, of course, is that with that degree of expectation, you can only ever disappoint. But I think he's going to disappoint us less than the most possible players in that in that position. It's also between Rohit Sharma and Pat Cummins, two solid yeah. leaders leading their respective teams. Thoughts? Yeah, look, I mean, Cummins got a lot of criticism in India. Um, and some of it was 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 unfair, and some of it was 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 perceptive. Because uh, Steve Smith got a lot of good notices for his um, for his job as, uh, as as locum captain. I think one of the things that we uh, we should conclude from the Border Gavaskar Trophy is it's extremely difficult to be a fast bowling captain in India. Uh, Cummins over the last few years has been a successful captain precisely because as he has that capacity to lead by example, to conjure up his own match winning spell. But under the conditions that he found himself in India, you know, he just never looked like it, did he? From that very, very first spell in uh, in Nagpur, he did not look like the bowler that we've become accustomed to in Australia. I don't know how much of that was to do with his personal circumstances, but I think quite a lot of it was to do with, with conditions. And sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets for you. And that's a little bit the way in which I felt uh, for Cummins in, uh, in India. Um, it'll be an enormous relief to have put that tour behind him and to have put his personal tribulations to it to, to one side to have achieved some resolution uh he'll want to consign that border gavaskar trophy to to the past in the end it didn't work out as badly for australia as it seemed halfway through that tour so there's there's that degree of uh, of solace to him uh he's got a hell of a lot of cricket ahead of him you know six tests in this period of time in england for a fast bowler as captain that is an absolutely enormous workload. And you can't really posit the possibility of rotating him in an attack. You know, he is going to be the uh, the ever-present. 
But at the moment, he's fresh. He's had an opportunity to get away from the game, to have to put those things to one side. Uh, and of course, it's the opportunity to, to get even with India, having been embarrassed, I think, by, um, by, by the Indians in, that, uh, in the first two test matches of that series. And that's something that Cummins will welcome. Steve Smith and Manus Labuschagne, huge records, huge reputation. These two will be, again, the pivot of the Australian batting ladder. Yeah, yeah. Well, Labuschagne's coming off hot form in the county championship. Uh, and he loves batting and he's had a lot of batting lately. So um, so he's coming in, I think, in the uh, in the pink of form. Smith actually impressed me more in this Border Gaviscar Trophy than he did in the previous one in 2017. He did a great job as captain in 2017. But here, he didn't get a lot of runs. He didn't get a 50. And yet he still looked positive. He still looked excited he still he seemed to have really matured as a leader and as a as a figure i thought he was he loved the challenge of uh, of of taking on the captaincy i mean in a way uh, yeah a, a a temporary captain uh it's a little bit like um you know you get to play with someone else's kids you can have all the fun in the world and then at the end of the day you give them back uh I thought he really embraced that challenge and enjoyed it. And uh, and even though he wasn't able to make a huge impression on the scoreboard, I think he got a lot of satisfaction out of the, out of the series. So I think he comes to, uh, to to this game in a, in a, in a pretty good space. In fact, I mean, you look around the two teams, don't you? And you think, actually, there's no excuse for not performing, really. Everyone comes to this having had a pretty good run at things as good a run as you're going to get these days coming into a into a into a big game uh you might wonder about australia at the end of this summer towards the back end of this summer when they have had a pretty heavy workload that uh, they will start to tire but uh but i think everyone no one will be thinking it's just another game of cricket uh, everyone will be thinking this could actually be something special, and the and the achievements that we um, over the next five days um, have the potential to define our careers. Would you say it's fifty fifty? Both teams have equal chance, or like most people are saying, Australia has the edge. That's the last one. Maybe Australia has a very very slight edge, very slight, and and, and for reasons that I can only um, I couldn't really even justify intellectually there are a few more selection questions around around india as we were discussing before i think the um the australian 11 pretty much picks itself uh, i suspect they'll go in with with boland as uh, as as the third seamer the, the the australians have had the opportunity to play some first class cricket in england i think that um that will help uh i think they're probably a little bit more familiar with the conditions in uh, in in england but Really, I mean, Virat Kohli makes up his own rules. Ashwin and uh, and Jadeja were so formidable in India that they will continue to have a bit of an aura uh, around them, even though Jadeja's overseas record isn't um, isn't particularly remarkable. I think Ashwin just loves occasions like this. So, I mean, factors like the toss could make a difference here. Factors like the weather on the first day could uh, could could make a difference. Uh, it's all very we're, we're predicting way way out in 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 some ways. You know we've we've got days to go. Um, so you know, ask me on match morning, and I might think completely differently. But that's part of the charm. That's part of the charm. That's why we love cricket. That's why we love Test match cricket in particular. Thank you very much. Pleasure and maybe at the end of the. At the end of the contest, we can we can touch base once more and, and review it as to how it works. Uh, 